Hey kids, what's going on? Welcome to Mac Flash Trivia. My name is Francois and I'll be your host for the next little bit. This is Kids Quiz. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are ready to play a good quiz because I've got one for you today. How is it going to work? Well, I'll tell you right now. You're going to get 10 questions on all sorts of different topics, followed immediately by 10 pictures all about one theme. You're going to want to jot down your answers either by using the official sheet in the video description below or any sort of scrap paper you have. Make sure you do write down your answers though because at the end I will give you the correct answers. You'll be able to mark yourselves and find out who between you, your friends, your siblings won the competition today. But most importantly, let's have fun. I've got all sorts of cool stuff coming at you, so let's play some kids quiz. If you're ready, here comes question number one. What children's television show is known for using puppets to teach kids their ABCs and 123s? Question number two comes up on the screen and wants to know what is 1000 times zero? Here comes question number three for round number one. What does Canadian children's author Barbara Reed famously use to illustrate her picture books? Question number four. What do most countries around the world call soccer? They use a different word for it. What do most countries around the world call soccer?
We are halfway through the regular round with question number five. What is the name of both a Disney dog and a dwarf planet, which is a planet that's not big enough to be a planet? So what is the name of both a Disney dog and a dwarf planet, which is just not big enough to be considered a planet? Question number six, what word can be placed in front of the following to make three new words? Man, fort, and ball. There's one word that you can place in front of the following three words to make three brand new words. Man, fort, and ball. So far, so good. Excellent. We've got question number seven coming up right now. He wants to know, what do nocturnal animals such as owls, bats, and raccoons do differently than humans? Question number eight, how many provinces are in Canada? Question number nine goes a little bit something like this. What plastic instrument is used by many third to sixth graders to play songs like Hot Cross Buns or the theme to Star Wars maybe? Looking for a plastic instrument used by many third to sixth graders.
And finally, here's question number 10. What art technique is being used in this clip to make things appear in 3D? Well, there you have it. That is the end of round one or the regular round. I hope you are having fun. And if so, please make sure you do tell all of your friends about Kids Quiz so that they can play and you can compare your scores together. Well, we've got some more trivia coming up. It is a picture round as we normally do. And this one is a lot of fun. It's called Name That Fruit. That sounds like a whole game show in itself. For every close-up photo, I want you to name the fruit that you think it is. It's going to be a very close-up, so you're not going to be able to tell what shape it is, but you'll be able to see what color and what texture the fruit has. There's 10 photos coming up all about fruit. Let's take a look if you can name them all.
And there you have it. That is the end of the game for this kid's quiz. How did you do? Oh, I get the feeling you did very well with all of those fruit. And we'll find out in just a little bit when the answers go up. Hey, parents, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to find out when we are putting out more quizzes. And, of course, you can just take a look around and maybe find a topic to quiz yourself about. Uh, thank you very much for being here today. My name is Francois, and I have been your host. I will catch you next time with more Kids Quiz. Ciao, everybody. Bye-bye.